Bloomies are forever. Happy Monday, everybody. I have six items to ship. All of my other items, my clothing, my accessories, my shoes, my purses, are on a auction that will not end for four days. So what I sold this weekend are just a few other things that were not on auction. So I'm gonna get started with a pair of earrings. These are some Joan Rivers earrings. I found them at a 50 cent sale. And they're marked Joan Rivers, they're pierced ears. I would have preferred them to be not pierced ears clip-ons because I think they sell a little bit better with her style sometimes, but that's okay. I got $8.67 and Nancy purchased these. She paid $3.50 to ship them. So if you don't know, this is just my process of shipping. And you'll notice I like to wrap my items. You do not have to wrap your items. Don't feel bad if you don't. We all do things differently. Yesterday, my husband and I, we did so much stuff. I had such a good time. Um, he was like, what are we gonna do today? Cause he had off yesterday on a Sunday, which um, doesn't happen very often because retirement communities sometimes book him for like praise and worship music, gospel music. So a lot of people don't get out on the weekends for retirement communities. So he, he usually plays on a Sunday, but he had off and he was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know, just stay home, watch movies. He's like, let's go to the bins. I'm like, yes, let's do that. So we did that. And then we got home and I napped. <laughs> and then we went in the pool and, um, not really swam, we just sat there and talked. And then at the, it was like, I don't know, maybe six o'clock. He's like, you wanna drive around and look for stuff on the side of the road? Yes, this is like my best day ever. So we did that and we didn't get back until 8.30. I was so exhausted when we got back. But we found some really decent stuff and I was having just the best time. So, uh, the plan was to package my items last night, but by the time we got home, I didn't, I didn't have the brain space I needed to do that. I was so tired. So this morning I woke up and it was like five o'clock. I was like, yeah, I could do it now, but it was really rainy and thundery. And so here it is, 9:12, and I'm just doing this now. So we found some. Where was I going with that? So we found some of this in some clean boxes that were sitting out by the road. There's a ton of bubble wrap too, but that takes a lot more room to store. So I didn't pick up the bubble wrap. I have a bunch of that. I'm going to put a thank you on a Monopoly card. Still using these. And a business card. I'm gonna put that right in there. Now a piece of tissue paper. Still using my really pretty tissue paper, except I won't need a whole sheet, so that's good. So later on today, we're gonna be filming what we got from the bins and what we found on the side of the road. And my husband has a dentist appointment. what the day looks like. We have everything kind of just like spread out right now and our house looks like a, a mess. Okay. So Nancy is in Arizona and I had a best offer on this and she just paid full price. I had that happen half at least the amount of time that I have best offer and people don't they just buy it so that's what happened here so I'm going to be ship shipping this first class mail so for first class mail it's anything up to a pound 15.9 ounces yes <laughs> that so anything under a pound 
can go first class mail and for first class mail I have these 10 by 13 poly mailers they're really strong they have this little self adhesion there and I'm just going to slip this in lap it over pull the strip and here we go let's give it away really light it is 1.8 ounces so I round that up to two ounces so for two ounces first class mail from me to Nancy is two dollars and sixty six cents now again she paid 350 so all of that little bit of money all of that little bit that didn't make any sense the extra money will go toward packaging Sometimes I'm over, sometimes I'm under, but I am trying to be better about being under. I have a Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. And so when I hit print, it usually prints to my Dymo, but right now my Dymo's not hooked up to my computer. You have to hook it up via USB. It is not wireless. That was a really good question somebody asked. There we go. And if you're looking for the correct Dymo labels for eBay, um, I have the Turbo 450 or the 450 Turbo. I use house labels. You can get them on houselabels.com or just by typing into an eBay search, Dymo 99019, and they'll pull up the correct size of labels. But you could also use a regular printer. Thanks so much, Nancy. Second item. This is Evening in Perry. And it is a vintage talc powder. And it's still quite full. Let's see how much the person, I can't remember where I bought this, but I'm going to guess that I paid a dollar or less, I would think. Um, the person, again, didn't use Best Offer. They just bought it straight out, and they paid $8.12, and they paid $3.50 for shipping. And Barb is in Kansas. So this is going to get the same treatment, a little bit of that to call this it's like a very smooth foam maybe foam padding my favorite item last night that we found oh my goodness we had so many good finds were probably two brand new packages of maxi pads which sounds silly um, especially because I don't use maxi pads myself but we will donate them Somebody was just going to throw them away. And there's so many people in the area. We have a fairly large homeless pop population here because we're in Florida and we're close to the beach. And the beach has free showers, um, you know, just like outside by the beach to, to get off your sand and things. So I'm guessing that's the reason why. So I'm sure people can use maxi pads. We found a few things to drop off at the homeless shelter. Okay. So, I wonder if Barb will use this. It still smells really pretty. Get some tissue paper. The storm this morning was amazing. Here in Florida in the summer, where we are specifically, we get storms almost every day just from how humid it is. It just like creates a thunderstorm, I guess. <laughs> That's my guess. And usually it happens in the evening, but the storm woke my husband up too. It was a pretty, pretty loud storm. Currently I have a giveaway for some poly mailers on my Instagram which I'll leave the handle down below, the link down below. 
um, Fresh Bloomin' Clothing. I don't even know how I came up with that name years and years ago. No idea. Okay, so this is rounded up to six ounces. Also, first class mail. Again, first class mail is anything under a pound. And it is $2.92. And she paid $3.50. And print. Thanks so much, Barb. Next up is something being sent priority mail. And this was from one of my viewers. Thank you, Candace. So she purchased a lot of modeling clay, toy clay, a whole bunch of clays. They're all still in the package and she purchased them for her son. He's been asking her for some clay for a while. So she noticed I had some clay and bought the clay. So I'm pretty sure I have fit this in a flat rate priority mailer. It's called flat rate envelope and it has bubbles on both sides. So before I do any wrapping or anything, I wanna make sure it still fits in here. I don't know why it wouldn't. Yep, we're good to go. So anything you can fit in here ships for a flat rate of $6.90 to the US. And this is heavy. If I didn't have this or it didn't fit in this, this is almost four pounds. <laughs> so four pounds without this flat rate padded mailer would be a lot of money. How much would it be? Candace is in Hawaii. And without this flat rate, it'd be almost $18. So because I have this flat rate, it is $6.90. We're in. I did put a little bit of extra tape here because it wasn't as secure once I stretched that, made it fit, and it did fit. But put a little tape there. My, my post office is fine with that. This is quite a heavy package. Okay, so $6.90. I'm not going to say what Candace paid. As per my own rule, I try not to say what people paid if they're a viewer. I know your son's gonna love it, Candace. Thank you so much. And next package. Next up is a Ralph Lauren denim and supply top. And this is headed to Lana in Alabama. Some fun tissue paper, some ribbon. Oh, I did find extra ribbon at the binge yesterday. I'm going to use some blue gross green ribbon I found at the bins. Did I find this yesterday? I did find this yesterday. It was brand new on the spool, but I took it off of the spool, so they didn't charge me very much, and we got the good lady at checkout. So she never, she's, she's more of like, this section is a dollar, rather than like one, two, three, four. So. The last two Monopoly cards I have are Vermont and Pennsylvania. So we'll give her the Vermont, it matches. My business cards say, you are enough, you are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. And this is going to ship first class mail. Set that right in there. And Lana paid $28.63 for the top. And again, she paid full price. I did have a best offer on this. And it weighs 11 ounces. And she paid $5 for shipping. And shipping cost me $3.66. Now, if she would take this to her local post office, because I don't print 
the actual cost. There's a way not to print the cost. It's just a little checkbox that says display postage on label. And if you wanted to put the label postage, you could, but I leave it unchecked. So somebody doesn't know I'm only paying $3.66 and they paid $5. So if Lana took this into her local post office, she would get a quote of $4.80, which lines up more with the $5. But because eBay offers uh, sellers, I think it's all sellers, the shipping discount, I pay $3.66. So we'll go ahead and print that. We will go ahead and print that. <laughs> And we have two more to go. Thanks, Lana. The next item sold so quickly, I didn't put it in a plastic bag yet. So I can just show you. This is a St. John Evening, which is one of their higher labels. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's this blush peachy pink with a rose gold hardware. I don't know if you'll be, there we go. It's so sparkly, look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness, lovely. Let's see, who's this going to? This is going to Holly, and Holly paid $43 for it. I did take a best offer because I originally had this listed for $65 but I did take a best offer of 43. I might have held out for a few months. Who knows if it would have sold eventually. I've been more into taking slightly lower best offers because the times I didn't, things usually just sit. So she paid $43 for it. And so I have to put it in a plastic bag. And again, I know sellers that don't do this and have 100% feedback. I did get a neutral two days ago, and I did ask that person to reconsider. I had sent a lot of like sticker paper. It was in a plastic um, container, like a hard plastic. And it was brand new in the plastic. I bubble wrapped it, I put it in a box, I sent it out. The gentleman got it. He said some of the paper kind of like slid up into the side and curled and he couldn't use it. So I said, no problem, can you send me a photo? Which I always ask before refunding somebody. So he did send me a photo and that's what looked like happened. It, it just slid up. I don't know how I could have better protected it because I didn't want to open the plastic. Um, I could have opened the plastic, maybe put it in a tighter fitting plastic. I, I don't know. So he said I can return it, but did cost like $17 to ship and he only paid like 20 something dollars plus shipping. So I was like, oh, no problem. Please send me better pictures of the boxes and stuff so I could follow it, file a claim on the USPS website. It was sent priority mail, so I, I'm insured for 50 or $100. I always forget, but it was gonna be under $50. And he said, no, I'm not doing that kind of thing. And I was like, okay, here's your money back. Thank you so much. Heard nothing. Then I got a neutral. And the neutral says, what does the neutral say? Neutral says, package arrived damage, but seller accepted return. Which is what happened. It's not a negative neutral. It doesn't count against my 100% positive feedback, but for the next 12 months, I am going to show that I do have one neutral and I'm not thrilled with that. So I wrote him back and I said, I don't know what I could have done better. I boxed it up, I added padding, I accepted the return, I let you keep the items and there were like 200 pieces of paper, 250 sheets of paper. Um, he paid $11.50. 35 cents and then he paid 13.65 for a medium flat rate um, and I do notice that he has left neutral feedback for quite a few people but not to where the point eBay would be like oh yeah he leaves neutral negatives for every single person and the other neutrals he leaves has the same exact wording 
so whatever. Um, so I responded to the neutral and I said, I shipped this paper item in a box with padding and refunded immediately without return. I wish I could have said a little bit more, but that's all eBay would let you say. There's a character limit to that. So not thrilled with that, but it does happen. You can't make every single person happy. I want to make sure there's no issues with this. This pretty skirt. This is one of the prettiest items I've sold. Okay, so we're putting this in a plastic bag. So all of that to say, I try to do my best in every single item I send out, but occasionally I still get it wrong. So don't think because I'm sending something in a zipper mailer that you have to as well. And Holly's in North Carolina. I'm gonna use, oh, here's what I was gonna use this gold ribbon for. I found this gold ribbon, like not this time I went to visit the bins, but the last time or two times ago. So I'm going to use this to wrap it to make it feel even a little bit more elevated. I found these cards at the bin yesterday and they are all of different areas of Florida. And let's see which one I want to do. To the, <laughs> I'm going to do the floral one. Serenity by Kay Wells. A water lily is a gorgeous and peaceful sight among the random debris of the marshlands. Thankfully, there's no debris in the picture. So I picked all these up at the bins. And I really liked the manatee, which I'm going to send to my sister because she was able to touch a manatee on this trip. We have a lot of manatee in the water here. They're giant. It's a little scary if you don't know what it is, but we've seen so many. Okay. I'm going to write Holly a card. Can I use smudges? So I always have to make sure to I should be blotting my paper like they used to do in the old days, but give it a good fanning. It's good to go. And I also got some washi tape at the bin yesterday. So we are going to use a piece of washi tape to seal the envelope. I love finding washi tape at the bins. So expensive elsewhere. Okay, so this is being sent what is this being sent? This is being sent priority mail. This has some weight to it. This weighs out the packaging 13 ounces. So I could have sent it first class mail, but I'm glad I'm glad she paid for priority mail. So she paid $43 for the skirt and $7 for shipping. And this got put in a flat rate padded. So the padded flat rate envelope is $6.90. And now, oh, thank you so much, Holly. I'm going to put these outside and then come back and record the last one. And I'm back. <laughs> Last item is a set of 13 stockings. These weren't as nude as I would have preferred them to be. They were more of like a beige color and a black color. So I listed them for $45 and they sold immediately. I have a following of used stockings, which is kind of sweet, I think. Um, but again, I do sell used stockings and we mostly find them at the bins or sometimes by the side of the road or anywhere I can get my hands on used stockings. I'm pretty sure somebody sent me these. 
So thank you so much to the person who did that because you made me $45. And they paid $6.70 to ship. Pretty sure these will go first class mail. And they did pay for first class mail. So I'm going to put them in a 12 by 15 poly mailer. They're already wrapped up. And let's give these away. Not give them away, give them away. <laughs> so they are 12.9 ounces, so I'm gonna round up to 13, not three. 13 and from me to Massachusetts it's four dollars and ten cents so I did make about two dollars and fifty cents on shipping for this one I'm sure I use calculated shipping and they always guess too high I really like flat rate shipping I don't do free shipping anymore maybe like one in two hundred items get free shipping but it's rare Thank you so much. I know you're going to enjoy them. And let's see, I have a message. The message is from the person who left me a neutral. I wrote them, what did I write them? I want you to read what, I wanna to read to you what I wrote them. So go to my sent mail. Let's see what I wrote them. Oh, here's what I wrote them. Okay, so they left that neutral. I responded, blah, blah, blah. You heard all of that. I put, hi, I again want to apologize. I saw that you weren't happy and left a neutral. Would you consider changing it to a positive? I knew you were disappointed to find them damaged. I try and take precautions like making sure everything in the box with... I try and take precautions like making sure everything is in a box with padding, wrapping things in case they are left in a damp area, etc. I refunded you and let you keep the damaged items because I knew you were telling the truth and we didn't want the hassle of returning the item. What could have I done better? You were my only neutral in over 20,000 transactions and 13,000 positive feedback, all at 100% except for yours. Thanks for considering it, Melissa. So they just wrote back and I didn't think this was gonna happen. And they said, fair enough, send me a feedback revise request. So I'm going to do that. If I scroll the whole way down to the bottom and hit site map, it'll bring up a page and all I have to do is go to sell. And then at this point, I usually use control F and control F brings up like a little toolbar at the bottom of your screen where you can search for certain words. So I type in feedback and it brings me right to feedback, which is under community. And it says, follow up to feedback, reply to feedback. One of the items is request a feedback revision. So I'm going to hit that. The next page brings up my only neutral and I'm going to put that I resolved the problem and send. So I had to type in a little thank you and it let me send it. So that person is now getting a request from me to revise their feedback and hopefully they revise it to positive. And I think that neutral B will be removed, which is awesome. Also, if you didn't notice, I'm not holding my side. So, oh my goodness, seven months ago, I started having pain in my like, just under my rib cage on my right hand side didn't know what it was long story short turns out that there's a nerve that grew into some muscle and every time i was bending and moving it was just compressing that nerve so my doctor after gallbladder surgery wasn't resolving the issue my doctor sent me to another doctor who sent me to a third doctor and he diagnosed me with something called like nerve entrapment syndrome so basically he knew to take a lidocaine injection which did not hurt nearly as bad as i thought it was going to it was like pressure but it was fine it was so fine i would have it done every single day if that's what it took but it doesn't and he injected that nerve with lidocaine 
and now I'm completely fine. Seven months and all it took was a lidocaine injection and a really smart doctor. I mean, all of my doctors are amazing. I see my doctors on a very regular basis because of my CRPS. But this doctor just kind of like, yep, that's what you have. Lidocaine injection completely fixed it. I can bend, I can eat, I can sneeze and move, I can do all of the things and there's no pain. It's incredible. So lidocaine wears off eventually and I'll go back for another shot and another shot until it eventually kills the nerve. But it should last for like a month, two months, three months, nobody really knows, but it's gonna last for a while, so that's awesome. So that's everything. I better go put this outside so the mailman picks it up today. It is now 10.20. I did take like a half hour break to go get something to eat, but mailman's still not here and I was kind of banking on that because Monday he shows up a little bit later than his normal time of like nine o'clock in the morning. So if you have any questions, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I had a giveaway on my YouTube channel last week and somebody won and they were amazing and they just had a newborn baby and she sent me a photo and I realized quickly after that that I had gained a bunch of followers because one of the requests with the giveaway was to follow me and then I lost a bunch of followers after the giveaway because these people obviously don't all want to hear about my shipping so I thought every once in a while I'm just gonna click on one of my videos and I'm gonna scroll through the comments last shipping video I had 53 comments so I'm going to enter 53 into a random number website and I like random.org one through 53 and the number is 10. So now I'm just going to go through and my YouTube page shows them like all out of order and crazy and I'm just going to pick the number 10 person. It's not going to go in order. It's just going to be a random. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Ava Castillo one and I'm going to send you a bunch of mailers so you will get a total of 25 mailers in between the sizes so like 12 of these 13 of these or vice versa um, in between the two sizes so all I'm going to do is leave a message to Ava and let her know to contact me and send me her address through email and she will receive some mailers. So I thought that would be a fun idea. I love giveaways, and I've got like a kajillion, is that a number, a zillion mailers. Oh. One more for you, if you don't mind. So every once in a while, I'm just gonna go through a video and pick a winner to win some shipping supplies. And this time I thought, since I have so many mailers, that I would share some of my mailers with Ava. Okay, so I'm gonna contact Ava, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and you might win some shipping supplies. Thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.